does the white paper really put in the support for consumers? Good Energy was set up, what, 22 years ago. The vision was to actually engage with the consumer. What became really apparent and actually what opened up the opportunity for Good Energy was the prosumer. So we, we had real problems in terms of persuading people to sell us their power at that point. And, and actually by putting consumer at the heart of the conversation, actually we became a very different business. And, and the birth of the consumer, the, what, what became obvious at that point, you need to be able to innovate and play around and test things out. You need to make sure that the infrastructure isn't going to get in the way, and nor is the regulation. And then you need to protect consumers to make sure they're looked after and not missold in this marketplace. While I agree with Juliet that the sort of consumers that she has been dealing with, the prosumers, if you like, are the motivated consumers, the ones who are well, are well informed. There are a lot more consumers who are not in that position. Position. And I think it's really important that we keep in mind that this is going to be for everybody. Can I bring in Rachel at this point? How do you feel that the white paper is actually addressing this issue? I think the energy transition starts with the consumer. The consumer is absolutely at the centre of it. And actually, I don't think that that is recognised by the white paper. What I think it fails to recognise, and I think Juliet was was going here as well, is you know fundamentally um, the complete and utter revolution of the markets um, that drive the overall energy system. Everything you said, Rachel, was was absolutely spot on. But one of the also important points is. Um, it's not been a sector that's done a lot of R&D in, in what I would call the customer space. It's done it hasn't done a lot of R&D for stop, Laura, surely. <laughs> if you're an REA member or work in the oil industry, if you're a leader or an influencer within the renewable energy or the oil and gas sectors, or if you're a policymaker or cabinet member, this is the series for you. 